this year. Two great fights against a great champion. Don't you think Monzon will be listed among the very best middleweights ever? Well, I think he's, uh, it's been indicated that he's probably in the top six of all time greats. You know, Ray Robinson, Mickey Walker, Harry Grab. Those are pretty good names we lined up with. Good shot by Valdez, who would like to be listed among those people, too. That certainly has an opportunity. Benny Briscoe would like to pull this fight out and find his place among the middleweight champions. Philadelphia fighter keeps coming straight ahead. Well, Benny Briscoe may not find his... Good shot by Briscoe, Chico. Good right hand. Excellent. We're under 30 seconds, and that's his best punch in several rounds. It's a combination, something he hasn't been able to do. Is hit the man with two punches. Well, Chico Briscoe is out as Valdez responds with a flurry, as he usually does. When he gets hit hard, he'll just explode right back. Under 10 seconds remaining in round 11. Round 12 and Campione d'Italia for the World Middleweight Championship and we'll have more championship action for you on CBS on Sports Spectacular November 19th from Torino, Italy. Victor Galindez and Eddie Gregory for the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship. The night before, November 18th in Las Vegas, the CBS Sports Special. Heavyweight Alfio Reggetti, the heavyweight champion of Italy, who's in attendance tonight against Leon Fink. The more boxing action ahead on CBS Sports. Flurry from Valdez, blocked effectively by Briscoe, and now Valdez picks that jab out there. Briscoe cutting him off more. He knows that he knocked Valdez's mouthpiece out, but a left jab seems to catch Valdez unaware. Valdez without a mouthpiece. Early in the first round. Briscoe's got to do it now. I think he's ready to try and take charge. This is the last hurrah, possibly. Briscoe scores with two short lefts, not a whole lot of power on him, and Valdez stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Briscoe in his own corner, and again now, finally, Valdez pulls away from there. Valdez has had every Briscoe flurry with a flurry of his own. Valdez with some blood on his lip. It may be from Briscoe. It's hard to see at this moment. Briscoe coming on very aggressively here in this 12th round. The left jab from Briscoe, and apparently Valdez is bleeding from the lip. Center of the ring, they're looking at each other. Good left hook from Briscoe. Crystal knows what he must do. The question is, can he do it? Does he have anything left? Valdez matching blow for blow, even though he has an apparent lead. One never knows with judges and referees, and he cannot uh, be absolutely certain, even though he may feel that uh, he has a good lead in the fight. Right now, he's just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frisco as we're under 30 seconds in the 12th round. Valdez in another combination. Frisco banging away the guard. Gets through. Frisco's throwing a lot of punches now. It's a nice left hook. There's more authority in his punches. Briscoe. Chico Vijar, you've been here before. Briscoe came on strongly in the 12th round. Let's look at it here. Has he still got a chance? He does, uh, if he has anything left. Uh, maybe he's saving it for the last three rounds. He's got three rounds to do it. He's got to do it now. He just can't waste another what second. What do you see in his arms and legs? Do you, does he look fresh enough to you? Yes, he does. As a matter of fact, his, his power in the last round was quite surprising. Now, for the first time, Rodrigo Valdez comes out a little more cautiously out of that quarter. We're into round 13, showing the effects of a furious assault by Briscoe on the 12th. Scheduled for 15 rounds, there will be a new middleweight champion tonight. Briscoe has got to get a lift from that very impressive 12th round. Benny 
Frisco. Philadelphia has been working hard from the opening bell. Valdez has been in command most of the way, at least in our view. May not be the view of the judges and the referee who score the fight. But Frisco in the 12th round, and indeed in the 11th, fought a good round, but the 12th, he really came on. We're now at number 13, a good right-hand lead from Valdez score. right hand lead from Valdez. Chico's attempting to come with that right hand over the low left hand of Briscoe. Well, Briscoe's left hand is combination is, is countering isn't is effective, but also he's getting one with that right hand. Briscoe. And Valdez being warned for a low blow by referee Wally Tom. He's from England. Thirteenth round of this middleweight championship fight. Valdez number one, Briscoe number two. They'll settle it here tonight. Take home the crown vacated by Carlos Manzo. Redden again under the eyes and around the nose. Taking a lot of punishment in the face from Valdez tonight. But it was Briscoe in round 12 going to work on Rodrigo Valdez. Briscoe hasn't been able to maintain the pace in the 12th round. Valdez being far more elusive. 30 seconds. We're looking at two very strong athletes in great condition. Chico Vijar saying that Frisco still looks strong, watching his legs and arms, and still with a chance lands a good right for the cheek ball. Foul dead. Closing seconds of round 13. Another furious round. Thank you very much, Tucker. And as usual, uh, all of the news from sports around the world on the CBS Sports Spectacular. We've got more boxing ahead on the 18th of November from Las Vegas. Alfio Rigetti, Leon Spink. Two weeks from tonight, light heavyweight championship. WBA champion Victor Galindez against Eddie Gregory. Sixth graded challenger from Philadelphia. We're in the 14th round here. Benny Briscoe and Valdez, and they have been throwing some leather. Benny Briscoe coming on in these later rounds. And again, uh, we hasten to add uh, the judges and referee can see the fight quite differently from each other and certainly from commentators. It looked in the early going that Valdez was very much in control. And Chico, you've got to admire Benny Briscoe's comeback here from about the 11th round on. He's really been steaming. Yes, I do, but it does appear that Valdez has a definite edge. He took a big lead at the beginning of the fight. Benny Briscoe would like to get the knockout blow. He's got to feel that's what he needs. Two rounds remaining. Valdez 30. World-class middleweights for a number of years. Met twice before. Valdez winning each time. This has been a war. Valdez coming off two 15-rounders against Monzon. Looks like he'll be going the distance again the way this is going. He'll be proud of. Frisco stopped the right hand from Valdez there. Crowd really coming alive here at the casino and Kempi on it. They've seen a lot of action. Hope you're enjoying it at home on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Hook from Valdez. Benny's having difficulty being offensive now. He's just... Can't mind any type of offense. 
Under 30 seconds in round 14. Wild right from Briscoe as he went for it all and missed. Tied up immediately by Valdez. Final seconds of round 14. seconds of round 14 on your beautiful punches he just is not moving he's very lackadaisical maybe he's overtrained for this fight round eight coming up interestingly benny briscoe worked uh, the last day yesterday rodrigo valdez chose not to work out of course it was a light workout for benny a little shadow boxing with our own chico vijar for a round or two as a matter of fact did you learn anything about his style, and has it helped you at all in analyzing this fight tonight by being in the ring with him yesterday, Chico? Well, Benny is not uh, as elusive as, as Valdez. He's a um, come-forward fighter, makes three or four moves. Valdez scoring with Briscoe coming in, but Benny stays right in there. Now Briscoe brings the head up, and the referee, Wally Tom, comes right in on that. As Valdez had him in a clinch, Briscoe brought the head up, and uh, of course Valdez uh, pretty sensitive about that, knowing that he does cut above both eyes, particularly on the left side. Briscoe has a growing wealth under that right eye. Joe Clancy has been quite silent for Joe Clancy in the Valdez corner. We've heard a lot more from George Benton exhorting his fighter to keep the hands up throw more punches. Oh, well, Valdez is doing exactly what Clancy wants him to do. And he's satisfied. That's probably why he's not saying anything. Wally yeah. Tom telling Briscoe, break when I tell you to. Right hand lead to the belly from Valdez. We're in round eight. Tim Ryan and Chico Vijar live on CBS Sports Spectacular from Campione d'Italia. Where is it? Well, it's on Lake Lugano, actually within Swiss borders. Mountain country. Absolutely breathtaking. Beautiful area. Fighters have enjoyed their road work here, but that's all behind them now. They're in here for the middleweight championship. Good right hand shot from Valdez. Well, the difference is Valdez is hitting him with three or four punches, this only with one. You're not going to beat Valdez with one punch at a time. You've got to score combinations. Valdez scored well, and that's very against the ropes. He has Briscoe's nose bleeding again. We're under 30 seconds remaining at round eight. Valdez can throw those combinations with lightning like speed. Good shot from Briscoe. High in the cheekbone of Valdez. Briscoe's best punch in the last two rounds. Nice right hand by Briscoe. Valdez counters with a combination. Not a whole lot of steam on it, but he did land. Another right hand by Briscoe. Right, they are nose to nose here as the bell sounds in the round eight. Rodrigo Valdez, a close-up look at him. He looks confident.